Well, good afternoon, meteorologist Jesse Kelly here. Hope was having a fantastic Sunday. Looking at lots of clouds throughout all of your architects. I've also seen a few breaks in the clouds as well, too. A pretty decent afternoon. We did see lots of wetness this morning. We're also seeing some slight improvements in some parts of the region, but with this daytime heating, it's sparking more thunderstorms towards the south and the west of Shreveport as of right now. We'll see more activity continue to develop depending on uh, rain coverage and also daytime heating as well, too over the next couple of hours. So you can see, again, you can see Pinpoint Doppler showing you most of the heavy rain is now moving to south central Arkansas. But you are seeing some scattered thunderstorms just towards the south of Shreveport. Nothing severe. A few thunderstorms may be producing a little bit of lightning just towards the south of Manny. You see some more tiny showers just towards the west of Shreveport and some more tiny showers near Mount Pleasant up towards Clarksville. Other than that, things are pretty quiet for the Sunday afternoon. And we have seen some decent rainfall amounts over the last couple of hours. Pinpoint Doppler show that we have seen in some parts of the region one, two inches of rain, heavier totals over portions of Panola, Shelby, even across the western parts and western, south and southern and western parts of Harrison County, and more rain down towards Nacogdoches where we're seeing estimates of over four inches of rain. Temperatures, though, are not too bad, looking at 70s and 80s, depending on where you are. 81 degrees in center, 74 in Texarkana, upper 60s across the Queen. 76 degrees across Manning and also down towards Manning still. So again, we still have a slight risk across the eastern edge of the region with the main concern maybe be, being some gusty winds. The threat for tornadoes is looking rather low, although I think that threat is a bit higher towards the east of us, just again where we could see a little more fuel towards the east of us, where we could see a few potential rotating thunderstorms that may produce a tornado or two. And also seeing some large shell, that threat is also pretty great towards the east of us as well too. But as we go into your Monday night, we will see another round of thunderstorms moving to the region that could be on the strong to severe side for Monday evening along a cold front. The main concern will probably be wind and hail as well too. The threat for severe weather will begin to move more towards the south as we head towards your Tuesday. So here's one disturbance that's producing rain and thunderstorms with us right now. That's going to continue to move off towards the east. You see another disturbance over Utah, Nevada. That will lead to more rain chances for your Monday night into your Tuesday. That will also lead to potential maybe seeing a few Storms with thunderstorms for Tuesday afternoon. You see a marginal risk throughout most of the region, a slight risk across the southern edge of the region, with the main concerns again still being wind and hail potentially, although we cannot rule out the threat of a tornado or two as well, too. So, Robbins, so the cast shows again the rain continuing to decrease for this evening. We'll see temperatures tonight for many of us falling down to the 60s, looking at lots of clouds for your Monday morning. But the good news is we're going to see those clouds are going to decrease. It's going to be a very hot afternoon. We'll see highs for many of us, upper 80s. Lower 90s, feels like temperatures, yes, a heat index value for many of us into the middle to upper 90s just with all the humidity we have in place. But clouds begin to increase again for your Monday night. May see a few thunderstorms on that cold front north and west of Texas, Canada, although future cast is not really showing that very vividly. But again, we could see a few thunderstorms north and west of Texas, Canada after midnight. That cold front will continue to slowly move off towards the south and east with daytime heating. We'll see more thunderstorms for street point areas towards the south and east of Interstate 20. Throughout the day for you Tuesday, that could produce some heavy rain as well too. We should see the rain come to an end for Tuesday evening. And we're going to see a nice break weather-wise for the second half of the work week. So rainfall amounts between now and Tuesday evening. We can see additional 1-2 inches of rain with the higher totals as of right now. Going to be over the southern parts of the region. So here's a look at your next 7 days. Showing you highs for the most part into the 70s and 80s. We'll see a couple of days to see 9 degree weather. We're going to see 91 degrees for your Monday. May see some more 90s in here by next Sunday. Lows at night, not awful. Ranging from the 50s, warming into the lower 70s at times. And again, we will see another round of thunderstorms for your Tuesday. There could be strong and severe. Drying out for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Could see more rain potentially as we head towards the weekend.